Hello everyone, this is Daniel here. Guys, today I want to show you uh, how you can uh, create uh, your uh, map without uh, doing by uh, end. So we are going to uh, work on the procedural uh, mapping. Uh, for this, we are going to need uh, our uh, tile map here, okay? Uh, before starting, if you are new to the channel, check the card above and see other uh, Godot videos that I had probably can have something that you may are looking for uh, if not just uh, continue do, uh, watching the video and I hope to see you on the new ones so um, as I mentioned on the beginning of the video we are going to create a procedural uh, mapping and we need to work with our uh, tile map. By the way, all this code will be uh, on uh, GitHub uh, repo and the link will be in the description uh, as well. So, um, I create my, t I already have here two things, the player just to make the simple movement. Uh, we have the script here with some basic movements, okay? Nothing fancy and the script for our world but before starting working on the script i will explain what i've done on the tile map okay so on the tile map uh, you need to create a new tile set and then add uh, here uh, the the tile or the the sprite that you have for your tile uh, to be uh, used however you need to go here to terrain sets um, and set here uh, a new terrain and add an element to the to that terrain I call it mapping you can call whatever you want it and I had this color just to be a little bit more uh, visible when we we paint the the tiles so after this you go here to your to your tiles sorry to your tile set and go to the paint mode here on the paint mode we need to go here on the paint properties select terrain okay i already have and on the on this painting you will have these two uh, uh, options here you need to add your terrain set and here the the terrain that you have uh, created it's this one in my case the mapping and with this pinkish stuff and after doing that you need to select the, all your uh, tile here and then you will be able to paint the tile whatever you want it. I'm painting with the left uh, mouse, with the right you can remove the ones we you don't need, okay? This is the simple part, now uh, let's go to our uh, code. Let me just save it here. I already had created a script for our world, so here uh, it is our script, which doesn't have much for now, we are calling uh, our uh, tile map if you're in um, go the previous version of Godot I think I know that the on ready and export and all that stuff doesn't have the add symbol so uh, you already know that and for the Godot uh, 4 uh, you need to add the add symbol okay so uh, sorry <laughs> uh, we have here our on ready, we need to create two more uh, variables. One will be the size of the map and the second one it will be uh, the one that we are going to validate if it's uh, land or map. By default I will have it on dot three. Uh, it was the, the value that I found better for uh, this solution but you can experiment and try uh, other values okay so we are going to add our uh, map size okay and the map size will be a, a vector too because we are going to need to work with the x and the y sorry and i will say it it's 128 by 128 it's a square by the way this value is the more the higher they are the bigger your map will be but in the other hand your um, game will take uh, a lot of time to um, be created or the map will take uh, longer to 
be uh, created okay so it's up to you if you want to to check uh, higher or lower uh, values than than those two okay now the cost for the uh, land uh, cap the one that I was talking about uh, we are going to use this um, land cap to ver to validate later the um, the noise okay because we are going to work with the uh, noise that um, is being produced when we we see that the <coughs> the the land on that uh, position okay uh, now we are going to create here our generate our function generate uh, map okay and we don't need you anymore go away and now we are going to work on our generate damn it <laughs> our generate function so it will be fun generate map okay now here we are going to work with the fast noise uh, light uh, it's uh, something I don't know I don't I don't remember if it's only now on go.4 off you have it on the previous version because I only been working with the, the four um, this is what is, is going to produce all the noises on our uh, uh, project okay so for that we are going to need a variable call it noise and it will be equals to fast noise light dot new meaning that we are creating a new um, uh, how can I explain this better uh, a new noise uh, thingy okay generate okay by creating here our noise I, I remember the noise like when we have noise on our TV it's everything pixeled and whatever I, I think it will be something like that and we are going to um, uh, validate if that noise will be lower than our uh, land cap and if it will be lower we are going to add uh, or append um, a cell there with land and if it not it will be if the the noise uh, value will be uh, higher than our land cap meaning that will be water okay but for now let's continue uh, so now we need to seed our uh, noise I will add it uh, noise.seed and here you can use just a random because this is will um, randomly uh, add uh, seed the noise with uh, one of these two uh, one value between uh, 100 and 500 in my case you can play around and see uh, what else you can find here because it's cool to experiment okay doesn't matter if you have uh, problems with it or not okay so uh, we are going to need to create an array because later we are going to need that array to uh, fulfill our uh, map okay so for that we are going to create a, var a variable <laughs> var a variable called cells and it will be an empty array for now okay and and I'm saying for now because we are going to fulfill it uh, next okay so um, since our map our map is a vector 2 we are going to need to work with the X and Y axis meaning that we are going to fulfill um, all the rows in the column uh, until we reach our max uh, capacity of our map okay so for that we are going to first work with X X and map size dot X and now we are going to call the Y because we are calling a colon first and then fill all the rows in that uh, column Y in map size Y and now we are going to get the noise uh, of our uh, noise uh, variable and check if on that uh, position the noise is lower than 0 0.3 okay so what we are going to do is var um, I will call it uh, value for now you can call whatever you want it will be your choice so noise get 
uh, noise 2D because we are working with 2D and will be X uh, and Y. And now we are going to check if the value is lower than the land cap. If this value is lower, we are going to append cells.append the vector2 with our x and y okay this is will append uh, what i'm doing wrong let me just check here quickly append vector 2 uh, i know why i said it calls instead of cells okay um this will append this vector on our uh, array because now we are going to need that array and we are going to work with our tile map and what we are going to do is to set our set terrain uh, our cells terrain connect because uh, this um, will use our uh, array to add uh, our uh, uh, images or our sprites from our tile map those painting one painted ones that we had done so what we are going to need here uh, we are going to need the layer um, the layer value the cells it will be an array uh, our terrain set and our terrain okay as you remember we uh, worked with our terrain set and with our uh, terrain on when we were painting uh, our tile map so to know where the hell are at least the layer and the terrain's values, we need, we can go here on tile map, and the layer you have here, layer zero, you can have as many layers as the the Godot lets you be had, uh, and here you have the terrain set. The terrain set is zero. And our terrain uh, will be zero as well because we have you only have one. So uh, let's go. And our layer will be zero. Our vector will be cells. Um, and now uh, it's going to be zero for our set and ter zero for our terrain. Okay. So let's see if it's working. I believe it will be work we don't have any errors so let's see and tada as you can see our map is generated uh, don't worry about this uh, kind of noisy uh, uh, painting because uh, I didn't uh, I didn't have done my painting uh, well uh, that's why it's looking a little bit like uh, this but it is just a matter of you working uh, better when you are painting your tile map and things will be uh, better than better than this so as you can see we have here some uh, gray areas this gray areas I know that my player is below the tile map I'm not worried with that uh, for now uh, these uh, gray areas it uh, are going to be our uh, water okay that's why they are uh, grayish because the value uh, that was returned from this get noise to d was equal or higher than the land cap that we had here so for for adding the um, the water it will be very similar for on what we have done here it will be as well tile map but instead of set cells terrain blah 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 it will be only set a cell and will be very similar you have the the layer the curtain the coordinates or this will, will be this vector 2 here you can add vector 2 i but it works well with vector 2 only um the source id we are not going to have it will be zero instead of minus one the atlas coordinates is going to be uh, where is it uh, tile set on on the case of the water that i want it will be here as you over it, it you, you see that you have the atlas coordinates on mine are three uh, for uh, for the x's and one for the the y so it will be the ones that uh, i'm going to use and then you have to pass an alternative um, 
tile but we don't have it so it will be a zero so it will be our layer a zero now we are going to need our vector you can pass this one okay uh, the next value the source ID as you know uh, it will be uh, zero because our uh, source ID it's the it has the ID zero now the coordinates for our um, Atlas it was three one okay three one and then passing a zero for the alternative tile because we don't have any alternative tile let's see if it's working okay and ta -da! as you guys can see we have water here of course we have some still uh, have some gray areas but again that's because of my painting in the tile not related with the code uh, as, as you can see and let, let's do just uh, refresh or reload our project and as you can see the map is different and with this you can create as uh, many maps you want because this is auto generating uh, the map itself so uh, that's it for today um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, video I know that is a lot of information you have all the information regarding the fast noise light on the Godot documentation if you have any doubts uh, I can if you leave any comment with something you do did uh, that you like to see in one of the future videos let the, in the comments I will try to figure it out how to do it uh, and try to show you guys um, if you like it you already know what to do subscribe leave a comment hit the bell sign to receive alerts for uh, new videos and I hope to see you on the next video so bye bye